one is for Tammy. Where are we? Ah, uh, question. My question would be, what should I be concentrating on to help move my life forward on my life path? And when I closed my eyes and just tried to tune in and see what was there, oh, I just got this picture of you swimming in this blue, blue, blue ocean. And I'm sort of asking, is it because of all this blue? Am I just seeing that? And and no, I'm actually seeing it psychically as well. I'm seeing you swimming in this blue ocean. And this to me, and my throat's kind of tightening up a little bit. So I, there are throat chakra issues here. And um, I feel that you need to release those issues and express yourself express your truth express your words i feel it feels like the voice i almost feel like like you want to sing i just feel like you need to express you need to express yourself through your voice and if it's not singing you need to speak to someone about something uh, because i feel there is energy trapped in your throat the throat seems very blocked and it feels like when you start to speak out or sing out or let whatever that is out, oh, it's like things change. Things change completely. And then I start to feel the energy moving again, moving through me and through my life, if you like. So moving through you and through, because I'm sort of just feeling an empathy with you, what's going on. So it's like, I feel like there's something I need to say, I need to release, I need to get out, get off my chest. I do feel there's something you need to say to someone um, as well. But it feels to me like your throat chakra is an area where you seem to, oops, start the timer, seems to be an area where you hold a lot of stuff because you, you won't always speak up and say what's really bothering you. And, and you also, there's something in your throat, your voice, that's connected to your life path that feels a little bit blocked at the moment. So that's the first feeling that I've got. I'm going to choose some cards now and see when you learn to express yourself. <laughs> okay, sorry, my guide's coming in. When you learn to express yourself truthfully without fear, you will know exactly what to do on your life path and there will be no more holding back. Are you a channel? Gosh, okay, that was quite strong. Um, interesting, interesting. Right, so let's just go with past, present and future influences. Um, I just feel really drawn to these because it's all about one particular chakra. So I'm gonna see what we get from the color cards for your advice and we'll see what comes up. It will be very intriguing. Okay, so advice from the colour cards. Nice, that feels good. I've still got this pulling on my throat and I don't know why, but I feel drawn to these cards, which I also love, um, to just get you the outcome. So let's just see what we are. But I don't know why I put that out first, but it feels good because it's Angel of Support and the card says uh, the universe has heard your silent call for help. So you've been asking for help about this and you've been receiving some guidance. However, sometimes in our rush to move ahead, we miss out on some of that guidance. Um, I'm just hearing be still, be still and the understanding will come. There is more for you. You need to have a very strong meditation practice for what you're hoping to do. And to understand that when you meditate, when you go into the silence, you're not just going there to, to go off, to escape, or even to, um, to connect um, with guides and angels to just develop your intuitive gifts so that you can do readings or whatever. Sometimes, you actually just need to get very still so you can hear what's coming through from your higher self, from your guides, from your deep inner knowing about what to do next, where to go next. 
sometimes if you set that intention you can just sit quietly for 15 minutes or so every day and not call it a meditation but just from being still the ideas will start to come through because they're already there all around you they just need your attention you just need to give them your attention so let's look at the past crystal clear intentions so you've been very clear about what you're doing um, for quite some time now you really are just looking for ideas about how to progress and I feel that there's some fear that comes up with that because I just had a really weird feeling in my tummy when I said um, you're really clear about what you want to do it felt as if there was some fear connected with it so it's not that you don't know what to do it's just you know you kind of get some little nuggets of help and then you you sort of you get a little bit afraid to sort of jump on them and take them you know what you're here to do you know what steps you need to take so but don't worry opportunities will come around again but listen to that the next time they do okay nurturing it's wonderful that you're nurturing yourself at the moment and if you're not this is what you need to do okay so it's wonderful that you've been given that message i do feel that you are starting to take better care of yourself though because you've had to so some things happened and um, to me it feels as if you've been really fatigued actually and that's just starting to lift and one of the reasons it's starting to lift is because you've been taking care of yourself and I'm seeing someone stirring a great big pot of what looks like soup it's like you know the sort of dishes that you have that are like soup or porridge or things that get cooked down for a really long time and and then they're holding it out in a bowl and giving it to you so I don't know if you're another person who has a lot of salads and cold foods. I come across this quite a lot. And I was, you know, having raw food only for quite a long time. It was great for cleansing and for raising vibration and lots of things. Sometimes, though, you do just need something that makes you just feel really warm and nourished. I mean, not that that isn't nourishment. Of course it is. It's the highest um, form of nutrition when the food is really good and clean and um, high frequency however that just seemed to be another aspect that was being shown to do with how you feed yourself and your attitude towards food when you feed yourself let it be an act of love okay so clear your space you need to clear some clutter another one get rid of clutter get rid of the um, any old stagnant energy around you move things around in your space that's going to help you immensely and they're saying to me office 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 so you need to set things up differently to maximize efficiency that will help you it will help you to think more clearly for one thing when you declutter but it will also help you to organize your reality much better when you know where everything is and you did do this i feel like going back about two years you had a bit of a, a clear out big clear out big clear out i'm hearing and you organized things and it was just so and it was just great I don't know if you've been doing a lot of moving, um, but it feels as if you need to do something like that again and it will help you to kind of get your feet back on the ground. So my feet are, think, are tingling now, so I feel as if sometimes you're a little bit out of body with one, wondering what to do next and where to go next and you need to get very grounded and to have the space around you feeling really good, number one. So that's kind of feels like it's one of the big answers to your question get your space sorted out so you feel comfortable in it and you feel very grounded now the advice build your confidence so you've been a little bit out of step with yourself is the way that i'm hearing it you've been a little bit out of step with yourself and your dreams and your ideas and again it comes to self-expression and the throat chakra issues and you know expressing yourself clearly speaking your truth all of those things that you've been holding back on they need to come up to the surface now you need to speak what you've been given by spirit share it say it put it out there put it out there and don't hold back build your confidence by doing it build it by doing it take one small step today listen to this reading and take one small step this is where I love coaching and where I sometimes wonder about how much good we're doing with readings you must take this on board 
and use it as a preliminary step towards taking an action before taking an action do something with it act on it today take an action take a small step that's going to build your confidence and remind you that you can do things and put things out there that's all it is that's going to help you to progress and the other thing discover your sparkle okay so you've kind of things have become a little bit lackluster lately and this is one of the reasons that you feel things are a little bit foggy but i promise you that when you clear things around you and lift the energy again they're talking about space clearing as well and the energy needing to be more sparkly around you do some space clearing um, do some saging uh, you know spray some essences do whatever you need to do play some really powerful music and reclaim that space and it will help you to re rediscover your sparkle but your sparkle is also concerned with how you feel um, out in the world and how you feel socially and whether you actually feel that you're able to present yourself well. So this throat chakra issue, I feel your confidence has taken a knock over something and it's possibly to do with an emotional connection or a friendship because it feels as if it's connected to the heart and you just need to pick yourself up again do all the nurturing, clear your space of anything that reminds you of, of things that were blocking you or that just weren't working for you. Clear your space, a clean slate and start again. You are being supported, that's the other thing that this card is saying. Um, you know, the universe has heard you, the angels have heard you and you will receive help. If you take this advice, do stuff, you know, get stuff out there, be seen and and get back out there again, get mingling, get, get sparkly, get your home sparkly and just, you know, get that feeling again of being someone who can, huh, I've just heard, who can be a mover and shaker. It's that sort of feeling. Okay, I hope that helps you. I hope that resonated. Please leave a comment or share a video or, you know, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye.